Yeah, I think as you go down the length of the games, it's just about being, I guess, adaptable to different situations quicker. Um, the faster the game is, the quicker you have to change your bowling plans um, earlier on. I think, yeah, I think it's just there's less overs and you've still got 11 batters, so um, the batters are coming especially hard, so you've got to adjust and maybe go to your change-ups or um, you got to assess the quick conditions very quick to to adjust and obviously you have um, the power play surge over where you can only have two out, um, so you've got to be quite clever with how you're bowling in that over as well. Um, I think I think the key to all the formats is still as a bowler is taking wickets, so I think you've still got to be aggressive with the new ball and try and take wickets and then um, just like all the formats as you go down, down the overs or as the batters start getting in you've got to start adjusting and um, maybe become a bit more defensive. Uh, well, there's not much fitness because it's <laughs> games every day, but um, it's more about recovery for me. Um, just making sure you get a good night's sleep, drinking lots of water. Um, I guess it's fortunate in the way that it's only two overs, so it's not super strenuous on your on your body. But going every day can can lead to fatigue, so sleep's pretty important. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, this is my first T10, so I, I guess it's my first time sort of coming in, you know, two days before. A, uh, comp, but um, yeah, I think it's very important to gel as a unit. I think it, you just that's how the the guys sort of mix with each other and, and um, in and on the field and off the field. Um, just trying to gel as quick as you can, get to know everyone um, as best you can, learn what they like, how they like to play, and then if you can get that cohesion on the field, that certainly helps. Uh, yeah, I, I think it is. I, Obviously, with batters, it's you know you need to be scoring at a high strike rate, and I think you've seen the flow and effect from what 2020 cricket has done to, to one day cricket and even Test cricket now. So, um, certainly think that T20 cricket can help expand, I guess, both batters and bowlers and their and their unique skill sets to develop. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, cricket obviously at the moment is changing week by week and month by month with a lot of the franchise tournaments, these T10s. Um, so yeah, I, I really don't know where cricket's going in the future and what it holds for the franchise and the international, but um, hopefully we yeah, continue to develop the game and make it marketable and enjoyable for everyone to play. Uh, probably only five wickets for the batsmen, so, <laughs> so the bowlers have more of a chance.